Welcome to the vlog. 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 Season four. Welcome to the vlog. We've reached the time of year where when I wake up around 5 a.m. it's still light out so I got up made a little sourdough starter and then got on the bike for an hour did my physio got home and started off the work day Monday was pretty busy I had a lot to prep for for the week so didn't really have much of a break just had a quick little lunch at the end of the day though, I got to get on the bike and ride. We did our usual intervals. My dad was feeling pretty tired. I did okay. I think I got like my third best time, but yeah, we're doing good. Got home and had pizza and Emilio came over. Tried some new tequila that his dad brought from Mexico and it was super yummy. Look at that. We got the hang of the new pizza oven and it was an absolutely gorgeous bike home. Like I love when English Bay looks all golden like that. The next morning I got up and it was time for me to go do a leg workout. I was feeling pretty strong and I also baked my bread. It was looking amazing. I'm doing so good with my sourdough. And then I got to work and I'm looking real stressed out. Had some meetings. This is me prepping one of my slide decks that I'm gonna use. Woohoo! Another meeting, woo! There is nobody in the office today. I'm gonna go home. I'm running home! Hi. I just did an insane amount of work on my slide deck for Friday and then I'm gonna take a break I'm gonna go home have my bread and then I have to start working on the slide deck for my presentation on Thursday nothing compares to day one sourdough it's just so good had my little lunch and then finished off the day made myself an extra cup of coffee because I was tired what was really exciting was that after work, I was able to go on a really long ride. I ended up going out to Iona and Steveston. It was really good. It, I was getting some allergies, so that part isn't as fun. So I look a little swollen here, but then I went to dinner with Emma and Allie at Acorn and we had their tasting menu. It was so yummy. I've had it before, but I enjoyed it more this time. I have decided to sleep in until 7.30 ish tomorrow. I'm hoping I don't like wake up before that because sometimes even though I say I'm gonna sleep in, I just, my body ends up waking up. I think I do need to sleep though. We love to see it. Nice little sleep in, spent some time with Emilio and then went into the office. I was having a wonderful day with lots of meetings, woohoo, and then got home and did a quick little ride before dinner. I think I ended up getting like 30 kilometers in, which felt nice. And then I just had dinner with my grandparents. It was just three of us because my mom's away. I biked home and ended the night with a walk. Next morning, I slept in as well because I was just feeling tired and my aura ring was telling me I was not doing well. I was having allergies as well, so my face felt really swollen. And then the morning I just spent prepping for my presentation in the evening and I was not doing okay. I was like freaking the fuck out. My hands are shaking because of how nervous I am. I have seven hours until I'm presenting and I'm so fucking nervous. I just wrote the script and I'm practicing it. And like when I was practicing, I'm I have like five minutes to present and when I was like talking really fast, okay, not really fast, but when I was talking like relatively fast to get through it, it took me three and a half minutes. So I know that I have room to slow down and like really get through this presentation. So I'm gonna practice a bunch more times, but I'm really nervous, guys. This presentation is the Vancouver Analytics Legends um, pitch competition basically. And um, my coworkers and managers are so lovely and sweet. They're like, you're so good at presenting. And I really appreciate the boost of confidence, but I don't, <laughs> I never feel good going up to present, you know, like it just, I'm so nervous and I'm really scared. I'm going to get up there and I'm going to have a shaky voice. Like I kind of feel like I do now. I'm just trying to like give myself the best foot forward. So I didn't get up early. I honest, I slept until 8 a.m. today and I don't have time to exercise today, which is good because I need to just rest my body. Um, I need to be in the best uh, state possible. I don't know if me talking about it is good because I think I'm just like hyping myself up even more in the worst way possible, but we'll see. I just want to do well, but at the end of the day, this is so low stakes, it'll be okay. Had my first meal of the day because I was really struggling to eat. I was just not doing okay, so anxious. I don't know, you can see it in my face. I'm like, not okay. Lots of practice. At least I looked cute. Okay, I'm getting ready to go. This is the outfit. 
Uh, uh, okay, I'm being so dramatic, I know this, but I don't, oh my god, this is painful for me. Took the Canada line to the event and look at my little name tag and I was so grateful that my coworker filmed me talking. I, it's like actually too cringe for me to actually show you the speech, but it went really well, obviously. Last time I did this event, I came in second place, so it was really nice to actually win. I just got home, making myself a little snack, a little cereal. Okay, there was food, but I was just like so nervous the whole time. I just had some veggies, and so I'm now just having a little extra something to eat. I can't believe I won, guys. I was so nervous, and like, I'm so critical of myself. I still can't stop thinking about the things I did wrong when I was talking. I didn't think I was gonna win. Like, I didn't feel like I did that good. So like, this was like crazy. I don't know why, I think I, I was so nervous for it, and I still don't feel like completely calm right now. So I'm like, I probably had to, I probably have to sleep it off. The event was very interesting though. Got to listen about so many different projects, which was cool. So I'm glad I went, but I think next time I would like to go as a supporter to another team. I don't know what is wrong with me. I'm just like still nervous. I don't feel that good, even though like I should be really happy with everything that happened today. I think I just need to calm down and go to bed. And I'm sure tomorrow I'll feel a little I'm sure tomorrow I'll feel better. I have another uh, presentation tomorrow to a group of clinicians talking about NLP, so I am still nervous about that. I need to stop being nervous about presentations. Like, they, I just think I'm cringe. Like, I'm like, I can't stop talking down into myself in my head being like, you are so cringe. We're going to bed. Tomorrow's going to be a great day at work. I'm going to do super well. I'm going to be solve all the problems. It's going to be fine. I'm going to have a wonderful day and I should treat myself to something cool tomorrow because I won. Okay, you know what? I need to be so much more positive to myself because like I literally, if you knew me in high school, we have to do something called concours d'oratoire, which is like a public speaking competition. And when I was in high school, especially when like the younger grades, um, my French teacher made everyone put their like heads on their desk because I had such severe public speaking anxiety. And like, I literally would like, get up in front of the class and cry in front of everyone. It was literally the most dramatic, embarrassing thing. I actually was so embarrassed about it. So then I have this lifelong like, <laughs> like reaction to speaking in front of people where I think I'm gonna like freak out in front of them. And obviously I have not done that for years, but even if you watch the first vlog, I was like, doing a presentation and it wasn't even a presentation it was like i was i was standing in front of a poster in like um like a science fair type situation where people just like walked around like there was no reason for me to be so nervous that one day and like i was freaking the fuck out so i've come a long way from crying in front of my eighth grade class to obviously winning a presentation so Got up and went to the gym and did an hour on the bike and did my physio exercises as well. Everything's feeling good. Happy to report that I am feeling better today. Okay, in one hour I do have a meeting where I'm presenting, but I don't feel at all worried about that only because eh, that's over Zoom and yeah, I obviously that's a lot less pressure. Being a good public speaker is all about exposure therapy and I'm getting better. You know what I mean? Like I am, I'm making strides. It's hard though. Like it, it, it is hard for me and it, I do feel like a bit of a broken record talking about it. And I'm sure people are like, why are you complaining about this? Like you did really well last night and I get it. I'm annoying. I identify with being annoying. It's fine. But <laughs> it's just like, ah! And it's a, it's a trigger point for me. I had a good start to the morning. Obviously got my ride in nice and early, got home. I'm having a nice little coffee and I'm just, um, reviewing the slides for later today. I'm in good spirits though. I'm happy to report all the presentations went well and I finished off the workday feeling a lot better now that a lot of my 
work responsibilities had quenched quenched had quelled down i don't know what i'm saying guys i need an english degree or something i got on the bike and i had decided i wanted to bike to turners which was really fun except for the part at the end where there was like parts of a hill that was like 18 degrees gradient it was so fucked up anyways we got sushi together it was really nice and then turner and i just relaxed we both took like cbd oil and it like we were out Next morning, Sky trained home and had to bike partially. It was raining, which sucked. And then got changed and saw this adorable little kitty. Look at her. So cute. Went to my grandparents for lunch and Molly's visiting. So we spent a couple hours together, which was really nice. And then I just went home. I lay paralyzed with depression and anxiety for like an hour and a half before deciding to stop feeling sorry for myself and getting on the bike. I only ended up going for like 25K though. I got home, did some laundry, made myself dinner. I just was not having a good night, but I watched all of Baby Reindeer, so yeah got through a show next morning got practice good morning it is a beautiful may day it's not sunny but i'm sure it's still beautiful let's go over the positives first um i've been sleeping a lot this weekend i have an aura ring and it like tracks how my body is like recovering and sleeping and this week wasn't good for me but it's slowly coming back up so that's good i don't really know how to like describe how i'm feeling but I'm gonna try and it's gonna come off as like negative and I apologize and I just feel like a shell of the person I used to be, the person I know that I can be. I don't feel that excited or happy about life right now and there's no like one reason for it, but I do feel like I I feel frustrated because you know, on some level I am like watching what's going on. I'm watching like the genocide in Gaza unfold and I'm keeping up with it every day and it's horrific and like, you know, I see these GoFundMe pages for families in Rafa and I donate to them and, you know, I'm glad there's something that like, I feel like I can do to help, but I still feel very powerless watching all of this footage and it's like been seven months of watching it and I feel like so disconnected from people in many ways because I feel like the grand majority of people here in Vancouver or in Canada, like, don't give a fuck. And I know that so many people do, but like, I, it does feel like jarring for like business as usual and like even I'm participating in like obviously my life has gone on like I'm so privileged like I have a place to live I have friends to like live my life with and family to live my life with like I am so privileged but at the same time I feel so like I just don't feel happiness the way I used to anymore like I just feel like life is gray and I, like people are like how are you doing like what's up in your life and I don't have anything to say I just don't like I, I just my mind goes blank and I'm like, I feel like I can't talk to anyone anymore. Like I just don't have anything to say. And I guess it's like coming up because, and I know it doesn't seem that deep, but I am like already struggling so much to like connect with other people right now for some reason. <sighs> or what I feel like is like, I, and I don't feel like I have like any particular reason to feel so disconnected. And I've been like not, I don't know how to say this, but like I was watching like some, oh, I don't wanna cry, I don't wanna cry, I don't wanna cry. Stop crying, stop crying. I don't know, I was watching some of my old vlogs and I was like, I kind of forgot, I was like astounded at how vulnerable I was. Like I just, <laughs> And it was like honestly really nice to watch like i'm not in like a i don't know how to say it but like i was like so vulnerable in those past vlogs and like in the past like year i've just been like i haven't really shown that and like i don't know i don't have to show what's going on but i did appreciate like when i was watching the old vlogs just how transparent i was and i just don't even feel like i'm capable of doing that anymore like i don't feel like i'm deserving of having a space to feel like sad like I, in my head i'm like you don't deserve to feel sad like you have so much to be grateful for and of course i do that's not like not true i have so much to be grateful for and like i don't know where i'm going with this this is like clearly very unstructured unfiltered and unthought out so these are not coherent thoughts i try really hard to like keep going and i try really hard to do stuff that's good for me i try to um, get outside as much as I can. I don't like, I try not to like sit in my own sorrow, I try to do stuff, eat healthy, exercise, see friends. But then it just gets to a point where right now I'm like, when I see friends, I feel like I'm just sitting there like without being able to talk and I don't have anything to like say about my life. So it's just like, I, I don't know, like I feel boring. I feel like I'm not an interesting person. I think that's why I've been so gravitated towards cycling so much because I, don't feel like I can connect to other people right now and I feel so lonely and I know it's counterintuitive to just go on the road and spend hours and hours and hours on my own on the bike but I just feel so depleted and I feel guilty because on another level I feel like so much is going on in terms of my career where I feel like I'm doing all these really cool things and having these accomplishments but on the inside I just feel so lonely and tired and unable to like make these real connections so when I do something I'm good at I'm good at cycling it feels like I'm actually able to like make progress in my life
Okay, I edited the vlog and showered obviously, and my reflections upon the last couple clips, I just wanna make it clear that I, it's not that I don't have friends. <laughs> like I have amazing friends and people, I have amazing friends and family and people in my life. Like I personally think I am the problem and I have to figure my own shit out. So like I'm, my whole like rant isn't to like, I don't know, guilt trip or like criticize anyone in my life. Like that is not what's going on. I just like, I'm more trying to convey my own feelings, you know? Yeah, so I am gonna head off going to Silk's mom's birthday. I have like, I'm gonna take some pictures of the event there for Silk's family and then hanging out with Turner, Sarah and Jared tonight. So, you know, I'm feeling like I'm gonna have a good day. I was invited to Silk's mom's birthday party and it was 80s theme. So I don't think I was like too on theme, but it was, I was wearing a vintage sweater that my grandmother made my dad and it was really fun. I guess. <laughs> After that I hopped on the Sky Train to meet up with Turner. We hung out at his place for a little bit before going to Savon's and this one was like new and it had wine. It was very cool and of course it was a beautiful day in Coquitlam. Very sunny, very warm. This is the very lovely veggie platter that Sarah made. And it was a really fun night with everybody. We played games, we talked, we had wine, maybe a little too much wine but we had a really good time and I think Turner did too. This is him all cozy in bed. Hello, Turner and I have arrived back at home. We had a really good night. I don't have to work tomorrow, so that's awesome. So I'm gonna go to bed and I've decided I'm gonna edit tomorrow. So the video will be out a couple hours late, but who cares? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.